What's up guys? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Universe. Today we are taking a look at Supreme Kai of Time and Villainous Great Ape Nappa. Guys, I don't know what it is. There's something about these mods where we're playing as these huge characters. I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to do that today, but really quick, I gotta do something. I logged in and I saw we got a gift, so we gotta accept this gift. I haven't done this in a really long time, but I saw we got a little gift, so we need to check it out. Also, I think it's time. I think it's time to change mentors. <laughs> when we do these mod videos, I don't know. It's mainly about the mods, but it's fun to do some stuff on the side too. So we've had Captain Ginyu as our mentor for a really long time. We completed the training a long time ago, so it's time to move on. Okay, so Wrecked hooked me up with Goku's Turtle Hermit Gi. Thank you so much, Wrecked. I believe I have this. But dude, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I can sell it if I need to. If I need some Zenny. But dude, Wrecked, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Okay, and before I started, I was looking around and I saw Jocko is here. So this should be really quick. Then we'll get into the mod. So Jocko says, hey, you over there. I got something I wanted to ask you. What is this place? There are all sorts of races, even aliens. I've never seen a planet like this before. Huh, my name? He 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 he. Prepare to be surprised. I am the protector of galaxies, the chosen super elite. I am Jacko the Galactic Patrolman. I patrol space day and night with a mission to protect the galaxies. During my mission, I dozed off a bit and ran into some strange portal and here I am now. Dude, that's kind of dangerous. You fall asleep and you <laughs> end up here. Truth be told, with my spaceship down, I'm in a bit of a predicament. What? You're a patrolman too? Shoot, I let out the information that my spaceship went down. Y you can you please keep what you heard secret? If you do, as a special reward, I'll show you one of my super cool moves. Not bad of a trade, don't you think? This is your chance to learn a move from a super elite like myself. Okay, dude, you sure talk a lot. <laughs> okay, all right then, we've got a deal. Now then, let me teach you my super elite move. Let's see, giving you lessons here is going to get in the way of others, so let's change locations. He 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 he, a super elite. Has elite manners too. Now is there any place we can go for a bit more room? Let's head there. Okay, reduce your So guys, this is gonna be really, really quick. Then we'll get into the mods. Also, while we're doing this, I wanted to just take a moment to thank you guys so much for all your support on episode 200. That was this past Wednesday. We did episode 200 of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. We summoned the dragon. We made a wish. We leveled up from 92 to 95. We got a new emo. We finished the training with Elder Kai. We and we did some character impersonation. So a lot of people were telling me, "Hey, Rhyme Style and Jade Antastic challenged you to do some character impersonations." So I was like, "Okay, we'll just add that to episode 200." They were great. I'll tell you that right now. They weren't the best. <laughs> they weren't the best impersonations, but I gave it a try. Okay. Dude, he just threw a rock at me. I actually really want that move. Dude, I don't even know what moves we got. Oh, right, we got Gigantic Omega. Doesn't matter. Jack goes down. We took him down in like 30 seconds. <laughs> so we got a new move, doesn't matter. Biggest thing is, I just wanted to switch mentors. You guys were probably getting sick of seeing Captain Ginyu there over and over. So, okay. We got this Super Attack Elite Beam. I've tried this before. I've tried this on my Xbox One account. Not a big fan. Okay, gotta hand it to me. You're not half bad now. A super elite teaching bears elite results. I'm glad you're a lot smarter than you look. Now, let's go over the move I just taught you. My elite beam is a move where you can shoot a beam in style. Now that you know how to use this move, you're one step closer to being an elite. Happy, right? It's gonna take some time for me to fix my spaceship, so I'll be here for a while. You might as well use this chance to watch and learn from a super elite like myself. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> Dude, his moves aren't really that great. But that was a fun little warm up. So guys, now is the time. We're gonna check out, speaking of time, we're checking out Supreme Kai of Time. And it's funny, you know, you'd, you'd actually think she'd be, you know, a, a playable character in the game, you know? But she wasn't a playable character. And another thing is, who knows how strong she is? Okay, let's do... <laughs> Let's put her on on exploding Namek. We can we have a chance to get Dragon Ball guys We still need to get some Dragon Balls. There's like I mentioned before There's a mod that I want to do that requires us to make a wish So we got to do parallel quests where we could potentially get a Dragon Ball 
So we're not guaranteed to get a Dragon Ball, but we can at least try. Okay, where's Supreme Kai of Time? Where's she at? Oh, here we go. So this replaces Pan. And something I like about this one is they replaced the picture of Pan with Supreme Kai of Time. Dude, it's really, it's perfect. Sometimes they'll replace the picture and it gets a little, I don't know, gets a little jarbled. Do we have any examples of that? I don't know. I don't see any examples, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when you replace the picture, it doesn't look great, but this looks amazing. So I think this mod just basically took the model of Supreme Kai of Time from the game. So it was absolutely perfect. Here's a close up of her boots. <laughs> okay, so we got Supreme Kai of Time. And actually there's two versions. You can see the different moves she's got. Let's just go with this one and we'll get some randoms. Who do we want? Oh, <laughs> this is Kid Boo and he's wearing like green stuff. I was testing out different mods. And guys, honestly, I, w I wasn't gonna do a video on this one just because it's basically Kid Boo with like green pants and a green Santa Claus hat. So, I don't know, we'll get him in there. We'll get him in there and then Copy Man. <laughs> Copy Man. <laughs> All right guys, here we go. Let's see what Supreme Kai of Time can do. But here's the thing, in the game, Supreme Kai, she seemed like she had some skills. She She's a bad cook. <laughs> we know she's a bad cook, but you know I think she could uh, she could hold her own in a fight. But I have absolutely no idea how strong she is. If she's a Kai though, she's got to be strong. Definitely stronger than Frieza here. <laughs> but this isn't a good judge. Who knows? But what do you guys think? Do you think do you think Supreme Kai would be pretty strong or not? Okay, dude, we got to try out. Some, okay, meteor blow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, took him out. Okay, we're getting the ultimate finish. This is good. We can try out some more moves on this time patroller. Okay, here we go. Oh, actually, that's a little sneak peek. I'm not gonna give anything away. That's a little sneak peek into one of the mods we're gonna be doing in the future. Okay, um, faint shot. You know, I think we've tried all these moves before. Yeah, that's good. Dancing Parapara, para, no way! Oh my goodness, Dancing Parapara. Para. <laughs> We're gonna make him dance. Okay, dance. Is he gonna dance? Oh my goodness, they didn't dance. <laughs> yes! Oh, they're starting to dance. <laughs> That's a hilarious move. Okay, let's finish him. Let's finish him off with the maiden blast, baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got material item. Did we get that key item? No. Okay, doesn't look. Like we got the Dragon Ball. No Dragon Ball, but we did get a Hercule badge. <laughs> it's kind of pointless. I don't really need Zenny. Okay, but that was pretty cool. So that barrel look quest was kind of short and sweet. That's fine. We didn't really have a lot of moves to look at. The character model looked incredible. That mod was really well done. And guys, like I like I usually say in these videos, if you do want to try out these mods for yourself, I'll put links in the descriptions for you. And I have a link to a video that teaches you how to install mods. And guys, I've been getting a lot of questions lately as far as how to install mods on like Xbox or PS4. And unfortunately, it's not possible, at least as far as I know. I think it's only possible to do it on PC because you can change the files and that kind of thing. But here we go, guys. Let's do Saiyan Battle. I don't know if this is gonna work. I wanted to fight on Kami's Lookout because, dude, wouldn't that be crazy? Having a great ape up there on Kami's Lookout? This is actually a really difficult parallel quest. And I'm not gonna be doing a parallel quest where you can get a Dragon Ball because usually the other ones, you gotta go through portals and I can't really, can't really go through portals as a great ape. So guys, actually with this one, I, I didn't really test it out. I just quick went in here and I saw that his boot was there. So his boots are there, I think the mod worked. You can see the purple hair and stuff a little bit. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. So, typical, typical grade eight moves. All right, bring it. And it replaces Birder, obviously. And do we want some randoms? Yeah, let's get some randoms. Moving out. We'll get Trunks, and we'll get, ooh, Super Saiyan 4 adult go tanks. Send you to other <laughs> nice. So these guys are actually gonna have to do most of the work because when you play as these grade eight characters, dude, they are super hard to use. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're up at Kami's Lookout. 
Oh, man. Dude, this is sick. Okay. Okay. We're doing a kick. Last time we played as Harutagarn, and it was super, super difficult to hit anybody. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm doing the tail. Crap, he took my stamina. Oh, my stamina is pretty much nothing. That's not good. Dude, don't the great apes usually have a lot of stamina? Well, at least he didn't grab me or throw me around or anything. Okay. Crap. I gotta get this guy. I gotta get this guy. Let's get the stamina all the way up. Okay. Howl. Yes! Dude, that howl. That does the most damage. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do the galactic donuts. I'm not hungry for donuts yet. Okay, what kind of... <laughs> what kind of moves can we do? Let's do the boulder toss. <laughs> There's no boulders up here. <laughs> That's not possible. There's no boulders on Kami's lookout. Okay, what else we got? Grady Beam. Hit him with that Grady Beam. Okay, that may have hit him. Go tanks. Could you come over here, please? I want to show you something. Boulder break. <laughs> okay, that's just like a ground pound. <laughs> but dude, isn't this sick? So he's got purple hair because this is supposed to be he's in the villainous mode. Let's see if I can. Uh oh, I'm about to fall off. <laughs> I'm about to fall off. So yeah, he's got red eyes. That's kind of normal though. He's got red eyes, purple hair and stuff. <laughs> Dude, this is pretty awesome. Okay, I wonder, I wonder if I just walk off the edge. Oh, I'm laying down. Why am I laying down? <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder what happens if I walk off the edge. Do I just lie down? Whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm walking in midair. <laughs> Dude, this is not good. Uh-oh, this is not good. Get me back up there. Oh, can I fly? Oh, I can't fly. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> he shouldn't have walked off the edge. No. <laughs> oh, there's got to be a way to get up there, right? Oh, no, I'm down again. <laughs> Why is he just lying down? He's just taking a nap. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, it's if I hold <laughs> It's if I hit left and right trigger. What if I just do right trigger or left trigger? Yeah, left trigger <laughs> Left trigger just makes him lie down Oh, now it's not doing it. Yeah, now it's doing it. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. Okay. I really really wish I could get back up there Okay, let's just restart it. Okay, we're back up. Let's take this guy down. So if I, this is what happens if I hit A. I'll go through all the moves with you guys. If I hit A, wow. It's kind of a jump move. This is X, what does X do? X is like a stomp. And it probably depends on where the character is. This is Y. It looks like with Y I'm trying to grab him. But why does he always grab up? Don't grab up every time. Okay, Y just, oh, this is also Y. Okay, so maybe it just depends on where they are. I don't know, this is what B does. And I think that's trying to grab him. Dude, if we could grab him! Oh, dude, we're so close to grabbing him. He's perfect, perfect! Oh, we're so close to grabbing him! Get back here, he's trying to, dude, he's, tr he's trying to get me to walk off. I can't do it, okay, let's throw some boulders at him. Throw a boulder. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious, big, oh, did that hit him? That may have hit him. Dude, this is all we can do now. Dude, I think that hit him. <laughs> I really think, I really think we're doing a lot better this time as opposed to when we were using a Rudigard. <laughs> that missed, okay. Oh, do we have unlimited key? I think we have unlimited key, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> but guys, I kind of wish these guys were just playable in the game already. Oh, we got a new enemy, uh-oh. So glad I made Mr. It, so. Gohan, but yeah, I kind of wish these guys worry. were playable already. I guess there was an interview with one of the producers of Xenoverse 2 at the Japan Expo, but I think he said there's a possibility if the community really asks for it or something. I'm just like, yes! I would love some giant characters, that'd be sweet. Dude, imagine having a Saiyan and being able to transform into a great ape. That would be sick! Okay, okay, with this, it's nearly impossible to hit these guys. <laughs> oh, Gohan! Okay, Gohan just took all my stamina away. <laughs> but yeah, it's nearly impossible to hit these guys. Oh, he's going for the tail. Don't get the tail. Get him, get him. Oh. Okay, we got a new enemy. Oh boy, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Guys, we're in, we're in big trouble. Let's do the howl. This usually does some damage. Okay, we're getting nowhere fast. Guys, let's go in the cutscenes. Let's see if we can get a close up. 
We're probably not gonna be able to get a close-up of this Great Ape Nappa because last time I tried to do that with a Rudigarn, it pretty much just glitched the game. So we'll try to get a close-up of Supreme Kai of Time and we'll see, we'll see if this works, but there's a really high chance it's gonna break the game, but we'll give it a try. Okay, so Supreme Kai of Time replaces Pan, so we're gonna need to do a cutscene where Pan is in it. So let's check out this one. So this is where, I think this is where Trunks goes evil and Pan is backing down. <laughs> Hopefully this works. There's Trunks, there's Supreme Kai of Time. Uh-oh, <laughs> look at her eyes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times with the cutscenes, if they're making facial expressions, <laughs> I think I kind of glitch them out. That looked hilarious. Okay, maybe maybe we'll try another one. Is Pan in any of these ones? No, no Pan. How about GT uh, Saga second half? Is Pan in any of these? Oh, there's Pan. I'm talking to Giru, probably being mean to Giru. Pan was so mean to Giru. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are glitch. <laughs> eyes are glitched okay. again. Where's the Dragon Ball? Oh, dude, that looks hilarious. The teeth, <laughs> the teeth are all exposed. But if I remember correctly, I think that kind of sounds like Supreme Kai of Time's voice. Okay, let's try, oh boy. This is probably gonna break the game. <laughs> let's just try it though. We're gonna have to do a cutscene with Birder in it. Let's try this one. Goku clashes with Ginyu Force 2. Come on, man. That would just be so sick. Oh no, it's glitching. Blast! I can already tell it's glitching. We gotta restart. Okay, it's a bit of a bummer because it would be awesome to see Great Ape Nappa doing a pose with a Ginyu Force. But guys, that's gonna have to do over today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. It was really fun playing as Supreme Kai of Time. I wonder if they're gonna make her a playable character in Xenoverse 2. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. And even though it's really difficult to hit the opponents when you're playing as Great Ape, it was still super fun. But guys, keep the ideas coming for some other mods we should do. There was a comment in last video that I definitely wanna check out, hopefully next time. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Xenoverse. We gotta do this, we gotta go Super Saiyan 5. Dude, he looks stinking crazy. This is crazy. Omega Shenron's body type with Boo's characteristics. Oh man, Great Ape Nappa. Okay, this is crazy, there's Harutagarn. Guys, this was... <laughs>